Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this effect using conditional formatting in Power BI. Based on the number, maybe it is a rank or something else, I can highlight the bars or columns, only specific number of bars or columns and remaining will be showing other color. So let me explain how to create this effect quickly. My first step will be adding a column chart. And in that I need to add in the axis branch and in values I'm adding total revenue as one of the measures. Now I need to highlight these columns based on a selected number and those many columns should be highlighted with a different color. For that I need to have a slicer. I'm using what if analysis or what if parameter so that it creates a nice slider. So let me select new parameter. Parameter name is rank numbers and then it is a whole number. It is minimum 0 and maximum 10 and then with an increment of 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 2. I mean 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 and so on. But 10 is not enough because the branches are many. I'm going to do some changes to this using a formula. Now, if I click on OK, I'm going to get one additional table containing one calculated column called rank numbers and one column containing rather a measure containing rank number value. Press OK and it will add a slicer or slider you can say. And I need to format this. So let me go to properties and go to numeric inputs. Increase the numeric input to say 20 so that I can see the number. Now you can see it's beginning with 0. So now let me go to that uh, table. Rank numbers. In that the rank numbers, the column, calculated column is from generate series 0, 10, 1. That means starting with 0, ending with 10, with a gap of 1. But this is not going to help me because I have many branches. So I need to change this value to a measure. I mean a DAX function that is either distinct count and then the column name. When you have a uh, this column is repeating in that uh, table in rows so that it will have only single unique value will be considered for counting or since I'm using a single table containing only unique values of branch it's a dimension table I can simply say count rows and the name of the table this automatically generate the number of rows I mean that uh, particular table and it will give me the number of rows. And it is dynamic based on the increment or decrement of the rows in this table will be showing the right number here. Enter. Now you can see the slicer is not showing only 10. Now it is showing 27. So 28. There are 28 branches. The next step is to create a rule for conditional formatting through a measure. So new measure in the conditional formatting table and then the measure name is color for bar and I need to say if the value selected in the slicer is less than the rank of branch based on the revenue that way the formula goes. If uh, basically it is uh, rank number value less than rank x all branches based on total revenue. So this gives me the rank. Suppose if that rank is less than the rank number values, the color should be tomato. 
either I can keep this blue color based on the uh, color scale used inside the Power BI. I mean by default, otherwise I can give a different color. So I can say C green. So this will give me a conditional formatting option to use a field value option. So let me select the chart and then in the properties are format options. I need to go to data color. I can select this FX button, the function button and then format by field value and based on the conditional formatting color for bar and if I say yes, currently everything is green. The reason I've selected 28. So all 28 are top. If I press zero, all are red. Now based on the selection, you can see I have selected five and there are top five selected. And accordingly, you can see the difference. Also, let me show you how to create a dynamic title based on the selection and how many branches are top. Very simple. So need a new measure. Measure name is title for bar and it should uh, start with a text top and then with a space and within double quote. So top space within double quote. And then ampersand, which is a connecting string. And then I need to uh, select that uh, rank uh, number values. So top that number, ampersand, branch out of total, ampersand, count rows. branch and this gives me a proper title. So let me select the chart and properties. There I need to get into the title and then currently some manual title is coming there. I need to just select function or FX button. Based on the field value, I need to select the color bar sorry I think it is title for bar and press ok let me increase the size so that I can see now top 9 branches out of total 28 and based on the selection it will change and when you have uh, any branch increment within the table this number also will change based on the count rows function hope you like this video and if any questions comments or feedback please mention them in the comment section if you are the first visitor to my channel please do subscribe and keep sharing thank you very much for watching this video